Hello, my amazing artist. Let's look at ways to draw from observation. I'm going to use some drawing pencils here. These are graphite drawing pencils. And what's cool is that they have different darkness or degrees of shades. So we start from the light and you can go all the way to very dark values, which is the 8B. So the type of pencil that you use is important. When we're doing sketches, you want to use a lighter value and a pencil that has a harder uh, graphite in it. So I normally use a 2H or a 4H pencil when sketching. You also want to have an eraser because when we are sketching, we draw lightly and you want to draw light until it's right. All right, let's learn how to draw a contour line drawing by looking or observing objects. So a contour line drawing is a drawing that goes around the outside edges of the object that you are trying to draw. So if you really pay attention to those lines that you are trying to draw, you will end up with a drawing that looks very realistic. So to begin, I set up my still life and a still life is just a group or an object that sit really still. If you're using more than one, you can move around your objects to create a cool looking composition. I'm just going to focus on this one apple. So you can see my finger, I'm creating the shape, then I'm going to try to draw the shape that I see. I'm focusing on the outer edges of the object. I'm drawing very lightly. You can barely even see it, check that out. And that's because I'm going to keep just looking at the object, notice the shape, and try to make that shape on my paper. Also, notice my hand. Look at that. Do you see how far back I'm holding the pencil? That's so that I apply a little bit of pressure. It's very light and that's going to create some light lines. When I start to kind of create a shape that I like, then I know that I'm going in the right direction. So again, just keep looking at my object. I, tr I trace the outside of it with my finger so I can get a feel for how big and where to start putting down the lines on my paper. So I would try that artist, try to trace it with your finger, then go to your paper and try to make that shape on your paper. Also something important is that my pencil is kind of horizontal, so it looks sideways. That's going to help me create a light value. Then you'll notice I just keep looking at my object. I'm tracing the outline of it with my finger. Then I'm trying to, to draw that same shape on my paper with my pencil. So my eyes really are on the object. And then I try to put it down. So my pencil is just trying to copy whatever my finger is doing. When you draw, press lightly. And also, say, you can say to yourself, draw a light until you get it right. That will help in case you need to erase any marks. Since this is our first time, that is so normal. I always have to erase and just keep trying until I get the shape that I like. That is a whole part of the drawing process. That's totally normal. So just keep going, focus on your tracing finger. And I'm going really slow because I'm really focusing on the outer edges. I want to do my very best. So I'm going very slow, pressing very lightly on my pencil. Another tip I have is you can use your pencil or your finger and it's kind of like a ruler. So I'm looking at the object, 
I line up my pencil to match whatever I'm trying to draw, and, that, and then I bring that to my paper. It's helping me measure the angles and the size of whatever I'm trying to draw. It's also helpful if you do this in a quiet place without any distractions. This will let the creative side of your brain do a lot of concentrating. So normally, I try to find a space where I am all by myself. I can sit down and really focus on this drawing. Sometimes I play music, and that's because that helps me as an artist. If that helps you, maybe you want to try it. Something else you might want to try is you can actually use your fingers to help measure the size of what you're drawing. Then use the other lines. So I'm looking at this stem and how it lines up with the back edge or line of the apple. So when I'm drawing it, I want those to line up as well. So they're about the same height. So I used my fingers to help me um, measure how big or long the stem is. That's a great tip. That helps me all the time when I'm drawing. So you should try that this week. Also, artists, if you need to pause this video at any time so that you can focus, that's a great idea. You can always come back to this. Okay, artists, after I've kind of experimented, played around with the shape. I'm starting to like what I have. So I'm actually going to now start applying a little more pressure to make my lines a little darker. And that is only going to happen when you're happy with the way that your drawing looks. Now, it might not be perfect. We are drawing from observation. We are not actually tracing anything so this might not look perfect but as long as we are trying our hardest i know it's going to look great all right see how that's much darker now i'm happy with the shape i think it's time i can start adding a little more value Okay, now my apple kind of looks like it's just floating on my paper, and it's not. The apple is sitting on a table. So I'm actually gonna draw a shadow here. I can see the shadow when I'm looking at the apple. I see that shadow. So I'm gonna draw it. And then also I'm going to add a horizontal line right there, and that is going to be like the edge of the table. This just creates the illusion of space and it makes it look like the apple is sitting on a surface, right? There you go. That's much more clear. Uh, otherwise, it just looks like your item is floating. So that's a big tip I always like to give artists is draw a horizontal line that will look like it's sitting on a table and draw a shadow. Oh my goodness, this has really taken my sketch from just a basic drawing to now it looks much more realistic much more real. All right, and since this is a contour line drawing, I'm going to stop there. All I wanted to do was try to focus on the outer edges of my shape and try to draw those. So some tips is you can use your pencil to help you with the size and the angle of what you're drawing. Be in a quiet place so that you can concentrate. And then before you finish, add something to make it look like there's a background. Using a horizontal line is a great way. And you can add a little shadow to really just level up your art a little bit more. Okay, artists, I can't wait to see what you create. Have fun with this. And remember, don't give up. This is really difficult. So I hope that you have fun. You take chances. And as always, stay curious.